Huppert. Thank you, Mr Speaker. Number 14. The impact assessment estimated the net cost to the economy of the student and post-study work proposals at £2.4 billion. There will be additional compensating benefits from reducing abuse, ensuring cohesion and increasing public confidence in the immigration system, but it's not possible to quantify the impact of these changes. Dr Julian Huppert. Um, may I thank the Minister for his uh, clear response? The cost of £2.4 billion. The, the best case scenario is a cost of £1 billion, the worst case £3.5 billion for a problem that the Home Affairs Select Committee struggled to find anybody to say was a really serious problem other than the Minister. Even Migration Watch weren't that bothered. Given that we do not want to lose £2.5 billion to this economy, will the Minister rethink these proposals? I think to, say, to say that there are no problems with the student visa system uh, would be absurd. Uh, it is two-thirds of the amount of immigration uh, into the system, and it's, the one, it's become the biggest single loophole uh, in our immigration system. On the, um, the slightly arcane theology uh, of impact assessments, uh, my uh, honourable friend will know uh, that there are some uh, strange assumptions that have to be made uh, by government economists. For instance, um, it has to be costed on the assumption that if migrant students are no longer able to work here as before, not a single one of the jobs that they vacate uh, will be taken up by uh, a UK citizen, particularly one who may be currently unemployed. Uh, if there is replacement, which is intuitively very obvious, then uh, the cost to the economy will be significantly lower. And that's why we've asked the Migration Advisory Committee to investigate this assumption, and we expect them to report in November. 